Welcome to Five Pints In, the show where we're literally five pints in. Cheers, guys. Been a while. Well, we did it. We went on strike for the whole summer, and this season they brought back thicker VAR lines for offside. Yeah. So it worked. Is, uh... <laughs> I knew, good over the weekend, mate, I think. I knew that uh, you standing outside that VAR shed with your picket, <laughs> with your, your picket, what is it called? <laughs> the sign? Picket <laughs> sign? A picket sign, yeah? Yeah, picket sign. All right, well, just was wrote. you thinking about like a, a pickaxe or something? I don't know. I, I said picket and it just didn't sound nice right. <laughs> well, I might have been standing with a pickaxe. Yeah. Yeah, but um, I mean, we'll, we'll get to all that. It's been a long summer. Um, anyone listening now, thanks for hanging on um you know and, and waiting for us and now we're back and you've got us and sorry to disappoint uh, you yeah <laughs> yeah but it was a good summer i mean we were kind of all over the place weren't we is it cold there con <laughs> 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 uh-huh. <laughs> how many of you had <laughs> like two sips i think yeah connor's wearing his uh ugly champions league chelsea scarf Thanks gotta, to uh, yeah, I gotta get in somehow. Thanks to our friend and listener Elliot, he sent it. Uh, he wanted me to give it to him on the podcast, yeah, but I, I figured I'd just it, ruin I don't know the what surprise. It says, though, because I, I only ever see it from this way. Yeah. <laughs> no, mate. If you've done if you've done it, flaunt it. That's what I say. I'm not bothered. There's always this time. Yeah, I'm thinking back now at the last episode of the last season, and I just remember Connor. Bladdered. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I going to say. That describes it perfectly, yeah. Um, Sat there for 20 minutes, didn't say a word. <laughs> hey, imagine how it would have looked if we won the fucking Euros. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should, you should have seen him the day of the final, he was yeah, sitting a fucking <laughs> pile of clothes yeah. with sunglasses on it. Yeah, um, yeah, but so what do you guys want to get into then? I mean, we, we've we've had the first weekend of the Premier League with complete stadiums. We've had the Euros that we can just touch on a little bit because it's been a while, and it's a little. Not only not only did we lose the final, but you you both caught COVID in that hellhole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the that's what I remember. <laughs> the final put it put us out for two weeks with COVID. So um, yeah. It was rough. But Almost as long as Daddy K. Yeah. Speaking of, I heard he was here in Florida, wasn't he? Was he? I had the Bahamas. I heard I heard both, so You're I'm not sure. He might have been on the run, though. He might have skipped from the Bahamas to here, you know? Yeah, I know. Apparently, he was looking... He might have spotted them. Yeah. There was rumors... The City shirt. There was rumors... <laughs> there was rumors he was going to be the most expensive kicker in the NFL for the Patriots. Yeah. I've heard him talk about that, but... Not just yet. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he says when he's going to retire, doesn't he? So Maybe that's why he's wearing that helmet. <laughs> I don't think there's a helmet that fits his head, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to hurry up, though. I got him on my fancy team, and he's sitting on the bench because... Because <laughs> he's sitting somewhere else. Yeah. He wasn't even on the bench, was he? No. That is a strange one. I mean, I'm, I'm torn with that because I know Nuno's sort of... And, and by the way, I like him, and I, and I hope he does well at Tottenham. I, I'm all right with Tottenham. And what, what a statement as well, you know? Well, well, winning the game? Yeah. Yeah, he wasn't up against much, to be honest with you, mate. Yeah, but, I mean, still, it, it says something. I thought... Um... For him, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I, I had a weird feeling because we lost that trick still last year, didn't we? Yeah, when everyone thought we were down and out. Yeah, but, I mean, the, the, the Kane thing for me, I mean... Obviously, people are talking about does that result show that City are lacking in that department? And and Pep's already answered that last season when I think Aguero only played like ten games or whatever. So we didn't really have a recognised striker, did we? No. I mean, Jesus played. He played more on the left. Like is where he came on uh, against Tottenham. Yeah, looked I- a little bit livelier than who was on there, and I think made the pass of the game. And created a chance for Grealish, didn't he? Yeah, he did. It was a great pass as well. I mean, I, it's it's a funny one because Grealish now at City, after all the shit we talked about last season. <laughs> how long it would take us to get to that? Yeah. Look, we've got we to just say honestly, look, you have an opinion of somebody by, by the way he plays, right? Yeah. 
he's gone. He's gone to. He's gone to City. We've obviously, you know, hopefully for me, things will change in his attitude towards the game. And 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 I remember him making a statement saying he has to do it because of more or less putting his Villa teammates down because of the mm. team he's in. And, and they need free kicks and stuff, you know, to win games. That yeah. was more or less what he what he was saying. He's not going to need that no more, is he? No. I'd like to see a change in his game. You know, yeah. I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go on pummeling him for, for diving in that. Hopefully, things will turn around. You know, I think he, I think he looked. <laughs> all right, I'm not I'm not backing off. I always said last season, yeah, he's a di- he was diving and shit, but. I always liked his defensive work rate, and I you can go back multiple episodes, and those who've been listening will know this. Sure, yeah. But I will give him this: he he looked great in the first half against Tottenham. Like he looked like he was lively. He was driving this for fifteen minutes. No, no, the problem I had, mate, and I never, I never questioned Pep. And who are we to anyway? Him and Sterling played in the same position. Yeah, I didn't get that. I didn't get the Torres one. You know, he's up there. He's he hasn't touched the ball, and yet he stays on the field. To the end, and other people come off. The, the thing that irked me so much is Torres was he must have made like twenty runs. I don't know if you saw yeah. him. Kept making uh, yeah, the run. Of course, yeah, I understand. That's that. not the type of team City are though. Like, I I really like Torres, and I think he, he's a great player, and I, I do like him in, yeah, yeah. in that number nine. But those runs he was making, I mean, he must have he must have ran. I mean, honestly, if they did off, if they tracked the the run, the amount of running everyone did, which I'm sure they did. I'm sure he was up there because he literally made like 30-yard runs every time Jao Cancelo got on the ball. He was just pinging forward, and he never he got like two passes played to him, three passes played to him. Yeah, but I, I think Nuno got his tactics right. Yeah. In the end, you know, he played played very narrow. The front three were very narrow, not letting them come through the yeah. middle. Yeah, and Tanganga yeah. as well. And maybe that was why Grealish was drifting wide, more or less standing on Sterling's feet. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just to, just to find some space in there. And get some of the ball. Mm-hmm. You know, I think he had one really telling run where I don't know if he really was fouled or he wasn't fouled. I know. Oh, in the first. I, I, was, I was about back. to ask. I didn't. I didn't see. Uh, you talking about the free kick right outside the box? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. didn't. I didn't get to see another angle of it, but it looks like he could have stayed up. In my opinion, unless he actually got caught, like on it, the ankle, the, the ones was, where it does take you out. It was iffy. Yeah, he was going. He was. I mean, he was moving quite quick, but they were. The ref said Skip pushed him, and I don't think there was enough on the push, push? without no. without the. Yeah. The, if there was any clip on the ankle, but yeah, well, look, even that, even that. Look, the good thing now is it, it seems like after this first weekend, one of the more noticeable things is there's a change in the referees' attitudes. Yeah, to, towards yeah. things like that, they're saying the change in the, the penalty rule, anything in the box that is above the waist or whatever, and not really going to bring you down. Then, so you know, and I, I, I see Richarlison got booked for diving. Yeah, so let's let's hope that is turned around because that was my biggest gripe. With today's football, not booking the divers yeah. and cutting that out, and now they're letting they're letting some tackles go that are proper tackles. I've seen yeah. a couple of the weekend. Who knows if it if it stays? If I mean, it, I've if seen they, the opposite of that. You know, you know, the follow through isn't so bad anymore. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, the, there was. I've seen the I've seen the complete opposite of that. I've seen over um, the weekend. Yeah, oh, Jesus, I don't even remember. I watched like. I thought I there was nine some. Of the games. I, don't, I thought there were some you know physical what? tackles that were. Left. Well, in the Tottenham City game, I think there was. Yeah, and, and on, honestly, I mean, what comes to mind more so is the Brentford Arsenal game. There was a the Brentford centre back, the right sided centre back. I think he was, or he might have been the right back. One Danish? of those two players just kept flying in like championship tackles, you know. And the referee. Well, I don't know if that's the game or not, though, because isn't the game supposed to be contested between at least two lots or two people? What do you mean? There was only one team playing, wasn't it? Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, what abysmal. Yeah, but that's what we expected from Arsenal, you know. Well, look, I've been I've been saying about Arteta for a long time, haven't I? What I was my? I don't, I don't think he has it. I really don't. Yeah, and we're we're kind of. I noticed we're. He, he, I, he's I don't think... in, He's ingrained in Pep's mentality, and he doesn't have the players, the ammunition, yeah, to do it. So you've got to recognize and and adjust again. Yeah, I noticed we're also speeding through all our bullets real quick. Because yeah, we haven't I mean, done this in three months, but we'll get back. I want to. I do want to get back to Kane. Um, but my, I did text you after the Arsenal game about Arteta, and I, I want to go on record with his prediction. I don't think he'll last five games, Arteta, before he's fired. Well, it's going to be tough because hasn't he got Chelsea then Man City? Mm-hmm. I think so. Yeah. I mean, I know he plays City. Is Chelsea next? I know we play them third. Third. Chelsea at home. 
Chelsea at home, Manchester yeah. City away. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just I think so. I mean, I thought Smith Rowe looked good. Yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, Arsenal have some good young players, but they just—they're just, they're just a, the joke of the you, league. I, sorry, you know? I'll tell you what. Right now, j- just because I know they—they they love bowling up the. He's English, isn't he, Smith Rowe? Uh, yeah. Yeah. How, how they love bowling up the young English kids. That Smith Rowe against Brentford, in like the better half of the game. W- has done more than I've ever seen like Jack Grealish ever do, or control a game. I've it's Smith Rowe. Can, I I know Brentford like I know Arsenal was shit. Yeah, and Brentford didn't end up winning two 0 But Smith Rowe literally whenever just, Arsenal had the ball, yeah, he was he was the one doing stuff. He and he was doing it all over the pitch. I think you must have been over the moon when Grealish signed for City because now you've got another City player to really like just dig out with those. No, those no, I wasn't. We're talking wasn't. about Arsenal, and you're bringing it back to to. Well, City. no, I'm just. Well, no, he he reminds me of him. I thought just with the I mean, like the this new kid who everyone's talking about. Yeah. And, you know, I he's mean, a similar type of player. Yeah, he's, he's somewhat of a similar type of player. When when Grealish gets the ball, whether he's on like the wing or not, yeah. he's still acts that, the same um, in the middle, like goes at people. Yeah, I, I also he just think, does it and the shin pads. Whatever. I think that way of uh, Todd Cantwell at Norwich as well. I think he had a decent game Can, against Cam, Liverpool. It, Cantwell, that's that's like the same exact type of player. Yeah, I don't see yeah. Smith. I don't, I don't see Cantwell Cam, like, as the pace of the other two. Though. No. Yeah, but it's like it's like, it's the, like he's a mix. It's like the bouncy. They're each a mix that makes of, sense. of the yeah. other two, I think. Like like that that's a new type of player just like this like a little I don't know how to I don't know how to explain that. Yeah. I just, I don't know. I think Cantwell, I mean just lively bouncy. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I thought I mean I thought Norwich put up a good game against Liverpool in the beginning. I thought they yeah, looked lively. A little bit toothless though, mate. Yeah. Really. They had some good. They had some decent uh, plays of possession with Gil, Billy Gilmore and Cantwell and Pookie like linking up. But yeah, yeah Billy Gilmore was passing it about. Yeah, I, I, about. yeah, I love him. Yeah, but Liverpool were always in control, mate. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't need to to give you know you know Man United sort of shocked us and came yeah. out firing and well and Pog, we had, Pogba. We had talked before that they might be a force this season. I hate to say it. Yeah, but Liverpool didn't come out with that guns blade. Season. They just cruise control, you know what I mean? Yeah. Chelsea come out a little bit lively, but against they were, a non-existent I know, Palace yeah, they were like a mix between Liverpool I'm and I'm sure United. the goalie touched the ball with his feet more than any other mm-hmm. outfield player. Yeah. More than anyone. Will, Will Zaha, did you see him? It was embarrassing. Yeah. Sutton around sulking, didn't want to be there. Jordan Ayew, although he, he worked a little bit, obviously doesn't want to be on the right. They've got a new centre. He was forward, fouling everyone right up, as well, yeah. Up the middle. Oh, they're awful, Mike. They, they were. I didn't even. I couldn't even watch the second half. I don't I think. Over and watched Everton. I don't think Zaha has wanted to be there for the past three seasons, has he? No, but you don't play him then. Yeah. Don't play him then. You know, well, it, Ta- is it true that Nuno's done this with Kane because of the controversy? I, I'm the only. The only reason I think that he may still be going is just he wasn't in the stadium at all. Whether you've yeah. just got from training, maybe he's protecting him. Because of what the fans might have done, because the fans did sing about him. Yeah, are you watching, watching Harry Kane? Are you watching Harry Kane? So, you know, and, and maybe they are going to be hurt. Yeah. Uh, last week, when he's come out and said, oh, you know what, it, it is only that I'm, I'm late getting back because of quarantine. Now. Do you still have to quarantine in England now when they lifted everything? Oh, I don't know. I I'm guess it, sure. it depends. Uh, maybe it depends where you're coming from. If he's coming from Florida, then no. But, um,. <clears throat> so here's a here's here's a theory. You know, I mean, I, I, I it's like the messy thing. I don't I don't want to read too deep into it and get too involved in the conspiracies around the transfer. You know, but my feelings are it's going to happen. And the the most valid theory I've heard, and you, you might know, I mean you might know a little more about the inner workings of how this works in football politically. But basically, what I've heard is the transfer is done. Um, but. Tottenham don't want to, they don't want it let out because they don't want to be you know they they don't want to be taken for any players they try to sign you know if they know well, look, they're desperate I, sorry mate if, if 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 other teams know that Tottenham are desperate and they've got this this <clears throat> bucket load of cash you know and they're going to try to sign yeah, their prices yeah yeah exactly so I I've heard you know from multiple sources you know um well again online but 
through second hand through multiple sources that it's a do- it seems like it's a done but, deal, but they don't they don't want to go public with it until Tottenham have sorted their end of the business out. But aren't, but aren't they inflating Kane's price? One hundred sixty million. Yeah, I haven't heard one sixty though. I heard yeah, one. I've, I've heard one fifty. They get one sixty and they fork out a little bit more for someone else. But the thing for well, me that, is that's why I was about to say. Clock. They're letting the clock tick down. Yeah. For them to replace Harry Kane. Yeah, yeah. Today, well, well, them to not, they haven't got much time. Well, they, who's available? Yeah. I mean, no? they kind of don't need to, you know? Like, they they could they could build a team around Son. But he was also, look how many yeah. leading goal scorer last season. I mean... The, the fans aren't going to let a player like Harry Kane go and not somebody come in of that reputable level. Yeah, uh, Son is Fans ten times better than Harry Kane. But he's not. He's he plays playing with the new sign and not instead of or or replacing. Like I, I think I I mean Son's amazing. Or, or yeah, incredible. go go out and for get get another left winger. Get someone that. Well, can't that they really, have options, don't they? Because Son can play yeah, in yeah, that middle go, role. Yeah, go get the go but get the deal I, sorted I've quickly read, so you can go get like like Martinez is supposed I've to. I've read really Lutaro Martinez from yeah. Inter seventy million pound or something that, like that. That's, but that's, but Lukaku going from Inter. Are they going to let Lutaro? I mean, you said this when I when I brought up uh, Spurs apparently putting in a bid for they, Martinez. They, Inter just got Jacko, didn't they? Yeah, but I mean, I, it to replace Lukaku though. We can't let that other centre forward go. No. I yeah, just, but, but get what? Two if if you would have told them you're gonna win the league and get two hundred million for your for your two strikers, would you take it? Why not? Well, Inter seem to be. You know, wait, but the first reason, of all, I I don't want to even get into Lukaku yet, but the reason the reason he's Conte, a bit of a fluke. So the reason Conte left wasn't it is because they wanted to cut his salary and yeah. cut his transfer budget. So they are trying to hoard cash right now. So yeah. I mean, who who knows it, really? It, it's spreading across everywhere. Except yeah. the Premier League, apparently. So, yeah. here's my thing. Um, Chelsea never ended up asking for 150, to my knowledge. Why don't you just fuck this Harry Kane thing off and go get Haaland for 150? It, I think it's been it's been stated he's not leaving. I don't think they're going to let I, him I just, go. I just kind of, I thought it was personal. I kind of just think he didn't want to play for Chelsea. And I, I understand that. I think I, if, if City put their interest... He's he literally sat there like I was, I was following it the whole time. And well, I was, that's why I think the Kane deal's done because why there's been no talk about yeah. going. I I just think yeah. there's there's too many signs to there's say little clues everywhere. I think but, yeah, but you can't put the whole the whole puzzle together. You know, no, I mean it's not like you know it's not like the Messi saga last season where it was like just like a kind of a pipe dream with all the messy, yeah. no pun intended, messy politics in it, but like. It just seems like, and like you said, him not being at the game. Nuno said he was at the training. He doesn't know where he's going to be. You know, some of the apps I follow say say he was out for personal reasons. Some say he was training out for training in the morning and then go to the game. It's it's simple. Well, I'd love us to get him. I would, yeah. honestly. And honestly, just the feeling of the Spurs fans singing that, are you watching Harry? It, it's like, I don't know. I mean... It sounds like goodbye. Yeah. Do you think the, do you think the win... The result at the weekend affects any of it? No, I don't know. No, I don't think no. so. No, it's a it's a statement though. That's what I like. It's a statement, but look, that yeah. statement's gonna gonna last ten games. But yeah, like you said, it's okay. for um, Nunes. Yeah, it's gonna last ten games. That statement. Yeah, it's gonna take a lot longer before they realise they can do without him. You, you can't. Nobody can do without the, the golden boot winner almost every year. You know. Yeah. Yeah, but and I do, and I do believe it's where where we need to. Fill the hole. I know yeah, Bruce yeah, but I this... in the league, you know. But I still think we can be better. Yeah, and that seems weird to say, but I still think he'll make us better. You could also, oh, yeah. you could also do better. This was the year to get Haaland. Chelsea just have just did a five-year deal with Lukaku. You're about to do probably a five-year deal with Kane. It's like who's gonna like? We're not getting him. He's not coming to the yeah. Premier League anytime yeah. soon, you know. Like this is now uh, that, that maybe, maybe this cements Haaland's Man- career, you know. Maybe whispers about Man United because they're sort of up that middle. Ta- They've got Cavani, who's a- aging. You know, they played Greenwood, Greenwood up there at the weekend. Yeah, he's quality. You know, but he's not. A not re- no, no, not for a striker. Nine no. type centre forward. Yeah, is yeah. He? You know what I mean? I you, would. You've got to have them players in their best positions. Yeah. Even though we did score. You know? I would hate that if I mean 
if Holland goes to United, I think we all would. But I like, think oh, I would end up just. I think I'd end up. What's that? Kane. Kane. Kane to United. Oh, Kane, Kane to United. United. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Oh, that's what you were saying. Oh, yeah. I thought you were saying Haaland to United. No, no. Kane to oh. United. No, I don't see that happening. What, within this transfer window? I don't know. No. <sighs> United, United have already... I would, United, I would honestly... Look, United have already spent $150 million on Sancho and Varane. I would sit there with my hands and they've on sold my head no, they've sold no pl- shocked. They've sold no players. Yeah, if... If United make it, even but another big Martial, move. On, on the, Did yeah. you hear? Let like Pogba go at any time. Yeah. Did you hear what um, f- fucking uh, Tuchel said about uh, the ideal plan was to get Lukaku and Haaland up top together and have Lewandowski play as the number ten? He was probably being sarcastic. You think so? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I I don't know. What is he going to spend? Four hundred million for that trio. Roman would be pointless. <laughs> he wouldn't. I don't know. He, he wouldn't. He's been completely profitable with this team. Well, it's only because he had a ban I, I, for two years or whatever. I, I was. I was. <laughs> I mean, it's business with Romelu then. How much yeah. did you sell him for? Fifteen. Yeah. Four him back for ninety-seven. All right, easy. Fucking Shaka and David Luiz and. <laughs> <laughs> we, we can always go back to them. Uh, Torreira? How much you did you buy Torreira twice. for? You signed him twice? Yeah. We also signed De Bruyne. We signed Salah. We signed um, Hazard. <laughs> and then let him go. You know? Yeah. That's fine. We didn't need him. Um, we won the Champions League, didn't we? You, you didn't want Lukaku before he signed. And now I th- feel like you've no, kind I of didn't. milded. it. No, I have to accept him. I think he I looked... I have taken him. I think he take him at City. I yeah, think he I know looked. You I would have taken him at City. Taken him at City. I think he had a good Euros. I know you said he did. You don't think he, he did. did? I he, thought he, he looked didn't. good. What I thought he, he looked strong. I thought he looked. Every quick. time he was in the build-up, he fucked it up. It hits his shin. Yeah, he had a good Euros. <laughs> yeah, he had a better Euros than fucking Lukaku. What does that mean? What does that mean? I just think Lukaku looked different. He, he just looked better than he has. He, he just. He just. Uh, he just a huge human being. You know. Yeah. He, like, no offense but to me. But he's got he technique. He's, he finishes. No, he doesn't have technique. He's got power. He has, he he has no... Him, he creates a lot of stuff for himself as well. Yeah. Uh, he does create for himself. I've, I've, seen, I've, seen, I've seen goals here and there that you can kind of, like, tip, tip your hat to. But nothing... Not, no, nowhere near his price tag. And first of all... I thought, what happened to players going to fucking Man United that we were just writing off completely? Like, you know, and scoring against you at, at my, while they're playing for Man United and celebrating against you after they've scored against you. Why is he allowed, that? Lukaku, why is he allowed back at Chelsea? Well, he was kind of cast aside. He's, he didn't leave, did he? Yeah, he, was he cast aside. but he left to West Brom, came back. He left to Everton, and then... You, you, only long, wasn't it? Yeah, but, well, he... You, I, no, he sold him to Everton, and then he went to United after that. And then that, that's I, I know you can't really say that. And I know fucking four episodes from now, I'm gonna be wearing a Lukaku shirt or something. <laughs> but still, <laughs> like I have to, to believe in you. Come, Chelsea but, didn't believe in him the first time, yeah. did they? They shouldn't have. He, he's he's yeah, he, he was, wasn't. I mean, you so, he scored what 17 goals for West Brom that season. I mean, go back and look at the, those goals. There was about. 13 that were like like just straight from his pure strength just dominating defenders and like falling that's, over and putting it in, in the box yeah that's which is skill. yeah I know that that's I think his best that's his best skill but it's 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 like he's he he has the same football brain as Werner and we already have a Werner you know yeah, but he's, <laughs> he's stronger and he can actually hit the ball. What, I don't know what you're laughing at. Imagine them playing Connor, together. He can actually... He can actually, actually, he can just actually imagine if, if Werner keeps the ball on the field instead of keep running it out. Yeah, Lukaku can actually put a shot on target. Werner just keeps running. Uh, the, the just, Werner's a winger, though. Uh, to me, I think he's he's always been a winger. I don't think he's a striker. L- Lukaku's not a striker, either. Can we... Uh, g- all right. Well, we can get back to this striker talk and the Kane talk and all that, but can we, can we give West Ham a mention, please? That's what I'm getting to. 
I, I feel like I, I could just play like a soundboard, but like how good did Declan Rice look on the ball when he got on it and he drove forward? Like he just I, I thought West Ham looked really good. I think they they quality, mate. Yeah. And I agree with David Moyes. Says he pay hundred million for Grealish. What's Declan Rice worth? Oh, oh yeah. my god, yeah. Yeah. Twice as much. You know? Yeah, I just thought they all looked good, though. I mean, Bowen with that ball out for, what was it, Antonio? They, they would have crumbled in the past, going 2-1 down. Yeah. You know? I think... And, and they, it was accomplished. The performance looked accomplished. They, they, I know you can say it's only Newcastle, but Newcastle had a bit of a re- revival towards the end. And they're scrappy, aren't they, you know? Newcastle? Yeah, they're, yeah they're, 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 Newcastle they're, have finishes as well. All the players, they're all and the players back. San Maximum the looks... Players. Looks same good, doesn't he? Same match, yeah. He, yeah he's, he, he reminds me a little bit of Traore, though, you know? Mm. He's, be, again, he's better on the ball. ball you know? yeah, he's better, better on the ball. On the ball yeah, as, yeah, as, as, as good as... For me, you need to come back as deep as he was coming, to be no. fair. Yeah. Somebody who's got that ability, you need them doing it in the final third. But he plays he's for... He's wasting energy yeah, he play, back. yeah, he plays for he Newcastle, plays for though. Newcastle, like, who mostly yeah, don't have the ball. I, I yeah. see him. He'll get he'll get a move next summer. I think he's just got same maximum. He's, yeah, he's been this good for. I years, think tri- Triore like. is mostly speed and power, isn't he? Sam Maximum no, has a little more tri- agile and Tri has been like sometimes it looks like Triore is going to step on the ball and pop it. I I feel like it used to maybe two yeah. years ago. The last two year the last two years it's he's been doing but, great but dribbling. Liverpool looking at him as well. Hey, what about that one of, of oh, I don't want to see that. Barcelona might want Aubameyang and, and offer Coutinho Portex. Would you take that all day? I so just, he, he's he's who I wanted to bring up with that top three strikers. Um, I think yeah. Situation. Wait, I wait, would take who, Aubameyang from, from Arsenal's perspective. Imagine if you took Aubameyang. You know, a city. Yeah, I'd take Aubameyang. You Every know, single you know, day but, of the you week. know, Barcelona have just come out today. They're one point one two billion euros yeah. in debt. And it's like yeah. worrying, according to uh, Tebas. The so Obama hangs out then because he's on three hundred and fifty grand a week. Yeah, they're not signing any. I mean, they've just obviously that was. I I imagine that's without Messi's wages, obviously, because I mean the bullshit PSG. So why, why wouldn't somebody now go in with a shitty, tricky little bid for Coutinho, forty-five million or something? He's not worth forty five. You, you could you could get less than that. You get him for you get well, him for, well, if they'd let him go. What I'm saying, I was I was exaggerating. Yeah, bit, yeah. Trying to think of the player that he is. Really. You'd get you'd they get him bought, for you'd get him for, for thirty. Like a, they bought him for like hundred and twenty. Yeah, didn't they? you'd get him for thirty though. Well, Coutinho. why is somebody doing that? I, I don't know. He's had, he's been stale, hasn't he? Well, he just no, been... he is. Yeah, he, yeah. Sure, I think he's, he's been unbelievable. A little, ability. Yeah, yeah. Still young. Well, I mean, I mean, Liverpool I, I, think they don't I spend money. So think he's twenty nine. I would take him every single day of the week. I tell you what, I tell you what would be a good fit. Kane going, Tottenham buying him, playing Son up the middle. Yeah. I think yeah. Well, I you know, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say there's a sneaky little deal where Bernardo goes to Tottenham. You within think? within all this, I just think Bernardo no. wants. Portuguese manager that likes Portuguese players. Yeah, I think there's a sneaky little, you know, and he didn't come on against Tottenham. He was sitting on the bench. He looked a little. He was sitting on the bench. Yeah, I seen him. I just think that to me, if I'm if I'm trying to be a little, you know, slew. <laughs> yeah, I'm being a little sneaky over here. Another, in. Another clue. Yeah. Another I just <laughs> watch it. Just doesn't work out. We're just talking about nothing. <laughs> but. Yeah, well, he would fit in that position as well if Son's playing down the middle. Yeah. No, no, he, he hasn't. He had a terrible season last season. He had a terrible Euros, didn't he? Yeah, he's, but that's that's why they're saying is is worth. It. They're saying he's only worth forty million. But they're, they're talking insane. about Kane being one twenty, one thirty with add-ons. That brings it up to the one fifty, one sixty that Levy wants for him. <laughs> There's another. It just. It. I don't know. It just makes too much sense. I don't want Bernardo to go. I really like Bernardo, but. He's openly. Would you give him up for Kane? Yeah, I mean, he's asked to leave, so it's like you know, what do you do? You know. Well, he, Grealish is playing over him. Yeah, different. Po- di- I mean, Pep- is it? Yeah, yeah. It's not though. Is it? Different position. No, that's. I've never that's seen any City spot. player play on Sterling's shoes before. Yeah, but because because that's that's exactly where Grealish plays out on the left, and they just can't. 
get rid but, of Sterling because for likes, some reason Pep likes Bernardo on the right wing, doesn't he? And Mares has come back. I think Mares looked good at the weekend. Like, I just think I don't know. I to me, I just have a I have a weird little feeling that, like I said earlier, I think the deal's done, and and I think Bernardo is going the other way. You know, maybe it's, it's football though. It's it could just all not happen. Also, that, our best player, Fernandinho. Yeah. The tackles he was putting still, in. Still, still yeah. at 36. Yeah. Winning headers, tackles. Things were trying to go through him, starting yeah. things off. Yeah. You know. How old's David Silva? 35, 6? 35, 36? I thought he was younger than that. 34? I don't even think so. Yeah, I don't think he's that old. But yeah, um. Yeah, I do. You think it's a done deal then? You think it's a done deal? I, I, yeah, I mean, I'm not like getting all excited about it, and I, and we'll be okay without him. I still think we'll have a great season, and I think there's there's more to come out of the players that we've got. But I am adamant that we need a striker. You know, I just think it's weird that the only real striker we have is playing on the left. Yeah, is that Pep? Is that Pep making like a weird statement? You know, I don't know because he played them there last season as well when he most of the time. So yeah. See, clues and then there isn't clues you can always find the answer why yeah and i, I just think that that gap's being left and i don't want it left too long mm-hmm. but it, look look you can you can have a seven forward and that's a seven forward and still not start him if you don't want to yeah if you want to play false nine but well, you don't go and buy harry kane not to start him no but he, he's he's but, every he's everything city needs right now yeah well, that's that's what it looked like but one game doesn't tell you anything no, I don't. No, I mean, like taking into consideration last season too. Just, I'm not saying just the yeah, weekend. Also, there's no folding, no stones, no Walker. Yeah, they're on the bench. I'm not. I'm not worried about that one game. It it doesn't mean nothing to me. No, I it's just it's yeah. a bit strange for me that, like I said, the two things with Torres. I know you said he was working hard, but working hard and being involved in the game and and being effective. I just think he's wrong you know, for the system. I think he's wrong taking people away for other people to come in yeah we just didn't seem to have that I mean do you not think it's do you not think it's huge that I know it's only one game but you, your three most likely competitors all won by three or plus more goals no I don't think that I'm not you again, don't think it's going to go down to the wire at the end I think it's going to be way it's going to be much more this year, yeah. it's going to be much more competitive and the, and than there last you go. season that's United have it's one game. United have five goals United, on you. United, we have four. United Liverpool don't play. On you. United don't play a top six team until October twenty fourth when they there play you Liverpool. Go. They could just rack up points the whole time. Yeah, and, but and be then sitting yeah, but everyone free. has to play everyone twice. So it, I I, just, I know, but it's, so, yeah, but systems are easier than system. We're talking about Arsenal about to get relegated because well, they're because they're on a City. trend of looking bad. Like Arsenal are on a uh, and Man United are on a trend of looking good because I just don't of think all the bottom teams. Uh, yeah, that but they I don't play. think Solskjaer knows what he's doing enough to to he's a, get them a title. He's a man. Nah, he's. I mean, what happened? But in, maybe uh, maybe if he got happened, maybe uh, maybe if he got subbed on in the second half of the season, nah, he get them. What the happened title. in the? Didn't they they beat Bayern Munich in the Champions League final and he had like a tap in and yeah. he won like the whole thing. He's like that type of. I feel like he's just that type of person. We've said it ever since he got signed. He's just someone that it's just gonna fall for him. You know, he signs Bruno Fernandez. He's, in my opinion, not even top five in the Premier League. But he goes out and scores a hat trick and makes Ole Gunnar Solskjaer against, look amazing. Against Leeds, though, who are, who are who are they'll come I mean, at you, you. You were so adamant that. Yeah, fair enough. No, I'm so adamant that Leeds were going to be United. It's well. just because when Leeds play, it can go any way. Yeah. There's going to be goals. Like, Le- I don't remember the last time Leeds have played a game without less than yeah. two or three goals. Yeah, they were like that. The- I'm going to be cynical. Look, his first goal went through the keeper. His second yeah. goal crept over the line. Yeah, but... The third one was offside. It's the... Yeah. Th- this is... This Big is just how it. This is just how it works for Solsha and. It's one game. You can't. I won't. I will not take. I won't take anything from this past weekend other than teams are getting back to it, and United have an easy run until do, October. Do 24th. you think if De Bruyne De Bruyne gets injured, you're winning this season? Like if he gets injured within the next, like how Liverpool had with Van Dijk. I mean, we did it. What seventeen, eighteen? He was injured most of the season, or eighteen, nineteen? He was injured most of the season. Was he? 
Yeah, he was over quite a while, yeah. I don't know. See, I, look, I must say it. I know you had to go at me for making a little wisecrack about Van Dyke and his injury and all that. Don't wish that on anybody. It was just a, a wisecrack. I still think it's going to take eight, ten games before you see him. Oh, yeah. Really, really at his best in that. And knowledge away isn't, isn't a real test. I think games to come, you'll find out if he's back to his, to his best. Let's hope he is. Because it was great to see him back, you know? I think... Even, even not at his best. Even eighty percent Van Dyke, I still think he's going to dominate the league. You know, like he's. Dude, look, I mean, look, I, I, I want to see everybody's best players back and healthy. Yeah, and, me too. And I was just, I was just. Uh, I, I'll, I will say, like this season. Sorry. I didn't know if you were, were you loading up to say something. I, I was. I was just going to say. You took a long pause. Yeah, I was. No, no, but he like, like. His camera like stuff for a second. I was just gonna say people were talking about. Um, I saw this thing. People were talking about Van Dijk. How they did this like whole lineup of the best Dutch people ever, and Van Dijk was in. And people complaining saying he hasn't done anything nationally. But was Vincent Van Gogh in there? <laughs> His ear was. <laughs> um, I think this. Yeah, I think this season it's it it's gonna be a good title race between City, Chelsea, Liverpool, United. Like, I think it's going to be tough. I think they've all got the key components. I think whether we sign Kane or we or we don't, I mean, obviously, yeah. signing Kane's going to be... If if you don't sign Kane, it makes it that much closer. Yeah. You know, but I, and, and I can't imagine the amount of hate. And West, West Ham 5th. West Ham 5th, yeah. I, I don't see why not. Where, I mean, no? where, where's Leicester? I, yeah, I do think Leicester will do well this season. Um, no, I think they'll drop down a bit. You think so? I think yeah. everyone's been the, saying that the, since they won the, the title. Them signing Coutinho as you well. You know, I think I think Rafa will do well at Everton as well. I know there was. I, a, so. I, I know there was a bit of. Uh, I mean, obviously there was the controversy with him. I'm. Being I, I'm. I'm glad he won his. Um, I didn't get to. I, I watched like the extended highlights because it was on the same time as Chelsea. Um, but I was like hearing it as it was going on. Yeah. And that he was just losing, and I was like, oh, like. You know, there's, uh, what I respect so much about him is going down with Newcastle and then bringing them back up. Like, he didn't leave. He didn't, yeah, you know. Yeah. He, and he's a big time. He, I mean, he's a big name, isn't he? But he went down with oh, them. He's won trophies, yeah. Yeah. I mean, but that's the thing. Also going to Everton. You know, whether he said it's a small club or not, he, he's still essentially going to a small I club. Understand. People say he's a Liverpool manager at the time. You say things in the heat of the moment. It's a, yeah. a missed uh, derby. You know, you've got to understand that. I know it, it, it. You know the blue blood runs deep. To be honest with you, and the, the, the only way you'll get over it is by winning games. You you think they'll accept them? Yeah. I, yeah. Winning games. Winning, winning games will make you acceptable. Yeah. I mean, I I think it's similar to when he came to us, because it was, it was the same thing. Like Liverpool's been our biggest rival for the, for like the last like fifteen yeah. years. You know. So when he came to us, it was there's, there's a little bit difference, you know. Yeah, of course, but it was still there was still rivalry and hatred and and he said shit about Chelsea yeah. where it's like if you if you have one foot out of line then yeah you know we're gunning for you but he's just he's just it's not rougher, place anymore, you know? is there? exactly yeah we'll delve into your past now. But there's not bad place. They, 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 They'll want to find shit to scrape up. You know, that's Wait, it's funny that you bring that. There's no hiding place when you like from what you say in the moment. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, What's yeah. funny is I was reading. Um, I mean, I followed like the I follow uh, Reddit a lot. You know, the Man City re- subreddit and stuff like that. And the Man United fans were pulling up how uh, in 2012 the uh, in the final, uh, the famous final, uh, the final game of the season, not the final, but the when Aguero scored, Grealish posted. I can't have Man City winning the league. Come on, United, all this stuff, right? And then um, all the Man United fans dug it up. But then all the, some of the City fans dug up Sancho saying, he just tweeted, Man United is a small club. <laughs> 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 or not a big club or whatever. So it's just like, yeah, I mean, you know. Yeah. You just... That must go through your mind as well when you sign it. Yeah. Well, do you remember, oh, though? Shit. It's just. I'd like to sign and it's great like money. You do. You would delete it. Tweet. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, you would delete it, wouldn't you? As quick as Conor McGregor deletes his tweets, he's been doing lately. But I don't know. It, yeah. 
I don't know. I think that sums up the whole Jack Relish signing. What that tweet? Yeah. Why? Uh, I, I honestly um, why? believe he's going to be best there, though. I think he's going to do well, but he needs to find his his place. Yeah. I think perhaps got to sacrifice to get him in. I mean, he was fifth. He was fifteen and years old. Might be Raheem Sterling. Who what? Grealish was 15 years old when he said that, so... Oh, yeah, no, that's fine. He's allowed to say that and go sign for... I just think it just sums up the whole thing. It's just, like... It's just... It's all a facade. It's just... It's just so... You know, it... And he, even just, like, looking at... I, I know, like, we all just watched the Euros together. It's been a while since we did the podcast. But just looking at... I know you're on the screen over there, but looking at you two, just, like, trying to... Trying to defend Grealish is, like... Is the most wild thing to see right now. No, all, I'm not for, for 12 months straight, I'm all we did was berate him. Look. I'm not defending, mate. I won't change. Look. I've always said he's got ability. Yeah, I yeah. know, but it's he's like... He's got immense ability. I know. But falls down too much. There's no getting away from I've that. I've always said that as well, and I was always the softest on him. So I'm not like... Back enough hardcore. He's still got to prove himself to me, and I don't want to see the. I don't want to see him diving. I don't like that he's the most foul player. People will say, "Oh, it's because he's like silky or whatever," but I don't want to see him diving. Like it, it, I, you know, that's why I don't respect Neymar. I can't. I can't. I have no respect for Neymar. I do. He's he's amazing. He's just he just he's falls a cheating piece of shit. Yeah, but he's. he's I can't amazing. have that. But I don't think Grealish will dive as much. I I really. Whether that's it, whether that's changed because of him or if it's changed because of the team that's around him, who knows? But look, you've, you, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> and that's five that's, pints in. <laughs> that's, that's, that's all you can say. The only thing is now, his, his fucking his Grealish shirt now isn't a punishment. He's wearing it with pride. <laughs> yeah. He's kissing hey, it. Hey, yeah, hey, it's, hey, it's hey, actually hey, fucking hey, signed. Hey, transfer hey, fell off anyway. <laughs> Yes. When I, when I took the sellotape off with me mini me the last time, <laughs> the transfer came off with it. Yeah, the transfer came off. He's at City now. We've been talking about that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, get back to West Ham, babe. Yeah. Please. Can we? Yeah. I just Rama, think. Ben Rama looks like he's settled. Oh, I, I like Ben Rama a lot. Ball Him on the ball. Looks yeah. Fine. I mean, he have not changed much. No. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why change? Yeah, so, uh, it's not broken. Moises said, Moises said it was a difficult transfer window. Yeah. It hasn't finished. It was 17, 16 days left. You know, he's been looking at... Was it a centre-half from Atalanta? Some, um, somebody, yeah. yeah, forget his name. Well, but, Atalanta. Yeah, but just, 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 the, just how puckered he must be with Rice just, like, out there, you know? All this money yeah, being well, thrown I'm around not, and... Yeah. I mean, do, what do you do if you're him? Do you go and... Maybe get a hundred million. It, I, well, I've said you're I not mean, gonna spend it this transfer window, but you don't let Rice go. You've got to find the. I, that, I, I was just happy I seen him in the lineup. Well, you yeah. know all the talk. I know, think there's been Chelsea talk. I, I think he, him solidifying his England spot keeps yeah. West Ham happy because he's always in the talks of of you know like but like transfer then yeah in the past in the past with West Ham you'd have had to leave to keep an England squad exactly yeah but exactly he doesn't have to do that now and and same with Phillips it's going to be the whole it's, but it's going to be an entire whole thing with him now yeah he didn't come on did he against United no he didn't know at all yeah they were saying I think Gary Neville he bothers me sometimes but he put- wouldn't bring him on when you're three, one, four. One, I know, five. yeah. He was like, I, every other oh, English player yeah. came on and played, but Harry Kane didn't. And it's like, Stones didn't. Yeah, Stones. You know, Phillips, like Walker. Yeah, there's a list. Well, that's what people are trying to say. Every other England player has come back unless they were injured, and it's not true. I don't think. No, but they, they all Stone, came. Well, they all came on and jogged around a little bit. Well, which Stones and Walker. Stones and Walker didn't come on. I mean, no. no, but they were on the bench, was he? Yeah. Involved. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, Jorginho played the whole game. He yeah. played the whole Euros. Look, look, I, I was listening to, I mean, a friend of mine, Andy Townsend, on TalkSport, and he even said, look, like like even Arsenal with, with Saka, play him. He's a young kid. Yeah. There's too much emphasis on the sports scientists now. Saying this player can't give you this yet. 
this player can't give you that because of his body, because of training. It's bullshit. Yeah. Arsenal don't play their best player and go out and get a result like that. That's the difference. Yeah, but I mean... I just listening to them too much now. They also had a weird season, <clears throat> though. It was the weirdest season. It was like they didn't play for a while. Then all of a sudden they had to play like the most games. Who, Arsenal? Well, everyone. <clears throat> Everyone, and then they had to play the Euros, and then the ones that went f- further, like no, last season they played all the way through. The season before it? they stopped. It's four weeks since the Euros finished. Yeah. How can you not? How can you not be rested in four weeks? Yeah. I was supposed to say, two, two weeks off is it, your body recovering, but, isn't it? And then two weeks preseason training. But that's what I'm saying. It was everyone was playing catch up the whole season, though. So they yeah, were. Yeah, but fit- they started late last season. They, that's what I'm saying. So they, they they were cramming in games when they were supposed to be taking breaks. They don't get breaks in the Premier League, really. <clears throat> yeah, they do, but um, like well, Christmas. Well, if you're Chelsea, you get knocked out the cup. Yeah. What cup? I'm just kidding. Well, what cup? <laughs> the Champions League. The FA Cup yeah. that we should have won. But you didn't. Yeah, it was a nice Community Shield you guys had, and I'm. I'm, gi- I didn't want to say Who that. Gives a shit? I literally didn't want to say that because they didn't deserve it. Who didn't deserve it? The Community Shield. The Community Shield didn't deserve it. Who didn't deserve the Community Shield? Leicester. Oh, yeah, they had a they full, didn't deserve they had the, the full FA team Cup. out though. Like, yeah, but they, isn't that what it's supposed to do? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I don't win it. That that's yeah. definitely a that's definitely something that's a game you should take pride in. Like the Super Cup. Did you see whatever. the team? Did you see the team we put out? Pep said weeks I know, before, yeah. and he said weeks before the Tottenham game as well. It's gonna be a slow start again. Well, that that's what that goes back to my point because all of last season was catching up, and and then we had to have the Euro. So you're saying with Sa- like specifically Saka? Saka, like- yeah, yeah. He's young and everything, but he also played all of last season. He was dependent on of Arsenal all of last season, even when they were playing games. He didn't play all the Euro games. No, he played. He played five. He played five out of the seven, right? I, I I don't know. I think he played half of them. Four out of the seven, yeah. at least. Even I, still, I he didn't play the first game. I don't know if he played the second or. I think he played he, about. He, de- second he definitely played the third. second. He played de- he started them, the second. E- either way, he second. still he then, still played then, all summer, didn't he? And then and then the finally he came on just before the penalties, didn't he? Yeah. He did. So it's not like you played every game through the summer. Then you got four weeks. You know, you've got to have a break. You've got a two-week break. I mean, he's still training during the summer, isn't he? Well, they've got to come back a certain fitness level these days. No, you I'm know? saying training during the Euros. Like, he's training for those big games, even if he's not playing or not, you know? And he yeah, did play it. Well, even then... I don't know. I feel, then, I, I, feel like, I, I feel like if you think about it, like, he's going to be playing in the World Cup and... You know, you kind of this still this season. You still got to ease him back in because he's going to have another busy summer. <clears throat> hopefully, you know. Look, by then Arsenal may be relegated or <laughs> <laughs> his manager may go far. Or in like some fucking super league with Real Madrid. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, so what, what do you do? You play for now? What if, I don't know. What if, I mean, what if, he, he gets, what if he gets injured in two weeks and he's out for six months? Well, I'm just saying. I, I, <laughs> You play for now, don't you? Yeah, but how, how much you you can burn yourself out? It's it's a, it's been a weird time that we've had. You know, we were off for so long, and then we had to. But cram why are you just again. saying him? The bit for me I'm not just saying him. I'm not just saying him. The bit for me is you could could burn yourself out. What if you go through your career that you'll never get back, and you didn't burn yourself out, or you wouldn't I mean, have yeah, burned yourself? No, no, it's. Yeah, but it's fine taking. I mean, take smart decisions so you don't burn yourself out. Like it's fine coming on. I mean, at half time during the first game after you just played well, is like it, is it up to, 365 yeah, games yeah, in but a row. It, do you, know? you think it's really come down to him, or is it Arteta just doesn't know what he's doing, or is it the sports scientists having a rule over the manager now? Oh, maybe. But also, when was the last time there was ever a Euro? There was a pandemic. Then we had to cram it. All of a season into like ten months or less, and then we had a Euros, and then we had to have a whole season, and yeah, then we but, have a World well, look Cup. Look at all these like, other players. But it's not look the same for everybody. Players. Well, I know that's what I'm saying. Like what is, what is everyone else, everyone yeah. else should take everyone else should take everything else into consideration. Shaka didn't get as far as as Saka, and well, in the Euros, one one game, game less. Time. 
One game. He's got more game time, Con. Yeah. And, and he's, and he's 28, 29. Yeah, but, yeah, he's also... Yeah, there you go. That's what I'm saying. Like, I just think... Burn, look, you, burn yourself out. I like, no, I think I, it comes... By, by, was, why did he play anyway? You think... If you why think... You think... Like, why is he still at Arsenal? I thought he was going to Roma. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, right. That's my, sort of a new deal. Sort yeah, of a new deal now. Tammy Abraham well, needs to go to Roma. My thing is... I, I te- a couple of minutes ago, I said Jack uh, Arteta doesn't know what he's doing. He does know what he's doing. I think he was too... I just don't think he should have been thrown into the Arsenal the job. It's just, it's just, it's did, a joke. Did Grealish, did Grealish go to the Euros? Did he, did he play a full game? Yeah, yeah. He spends half the time on the floor, so he's taking a break <laughs> anyway. He, he, you know what his stats are? Who takes the break the longest? Who takes I'm the most breaks? There's other players who played the whole of the Euros. Oh no, I'm not saying right and now. Sporting. Yeah, well, but Jack Grealish didn't do anything, though. That's what I'm saying. He didn't perform. He came on against we're Germany gonna, and, and basically set up I'm two saying goals. In, I'm saying in the Man City game against Tottenham. He looked he looked good. Yeah, he looked all right. Um, do you want to have people that are completely burned out by the time he gets to the World Cup? Because when are I, these... I don't when give are a, these, if, I, if, I'm a, if I'm a club manager, I don't give a shit about but, the World Cup. No, but when are, these, when are these players supposed to take a break? Or they just they, have four weeks off. They just had what? Four weeks off. The Euro final was the 11th, wasn't it? And that's it? only so if they that? played in the final, yeah. Yeah, the final was okay. The 11th. We're, now, we're now the 16th of August. Okay. Yeah. And if you're, so, a, if you're a club manager, you don't give a shit about... You're not thinking, oh, he's got the World Cup next no, time, let me rest him. No, I mean, now. you are... I mean, he's right, he's got a subject. You are, you are thinking I he must tired. be tired. You are thinking that you play his who, though? fitness level. Yeah, and you are thinking that there's a World Cup at the end. And I still think it goes down to the sports scientists, though. Like, Yeah, in a sense, yeah. No, I guarantee to you, them young players will say, especially him after what happened to him, I can't wait to get back to football. Yeah, I'm not but saying that. I'm putting the summer behind me. I'm just saying... Jack by, played the, more minutes than right, Saka did. That's fine. I'm just saying, by the time the World Cup comes, you're going to have a lower quality of football because all these players are going to be burnt out because of what happened over the last two seasons. There's been no break. So, okay. No one just, comes before country, mate. They pay your wages. I, I'm not saying that. I I'm feel just like saying you're having a different argument. I'm then. just saying we're gonna have a lower quality of World Cup because <laughs> that's not how you started this conversation. <laughs> it, <laughs> it is. The no, it, it is. I'm saying Probably low quality anyway. What do you mean? Okay. That's exactly I thought, how I started. I thought you this. were saying for some reason I, we were talking about Saka not playing, and you started talking about the World Cup. I just no, no, because well, no, you have to bring in the World Cup because it's that's the next time they get a break, other than through the winter yeah which is not really a break at all the main <laughs> break is at the end of the season <laughs> not laughing and, at you dude I'm and just... they don't they don't have that break which know, they would I normally know. have two years which is a different uh, yeah we, okay now that I know that's what we're talking about then <laughs> that's what I'm saying you have to take that I mean that's always the case though you've had to take the World Cup next summer into consideration because we just had a summer where no where the the better players what you're saying is if didn't get at the World up. Cup they look it was all the players wasn't it <laughs> Yeah, and if you're not a manager not thinking about that, you shouldn't fucking have the job, you I know? Don't, uh, yeah, I just don't think the managers think about that. You don't think the manager's thinking, especially a prospect like Saka, you don't think he's thinking, oh shit, he's got more games to play no, because, than anyone. No, because Arteta might not be there the season after, so why would he be worried about because that? Because he hasn't, hasn't played what, Saka. So he just doesn't worry about his future? Why would Arteta give a shit about Saka's future if there's a chance that Arteta isn't going to be there next season? Or well, because there's a chance think- that he is going to be there next season. I don't think. I think that's where. I think he would take a, if if Saka was burnt out mid season, he would give him a rest for a game or two. You know. Sure. I'm. I'm not. I'm not talking about <laughs> whose opinion on managing them. Don't I'm saying as the me. player themselves, Saka's Don't. going to be burnt out. By the World Cup, if he fucking just plays, okay. uh, if he is Arsenal's talisman, yeah. this, uh, talisman this fucking <laughs> this season. Speaking of Afghanistan, he, <laughs> <laughs> he is he is gonna he is gonna be burnt out by the World Cup, and I do not want that because fuck Arsenal, you know. Yeah. Okay, I get. I, I so guess. that's why I think <laughs> Saka <laughs> came on out half time. I get your point now, but we went like around the globe to get there, you know. All right, I'm sorry. This I thought, I thought this was common knowledge that we should be thinking about the World Cup, you know. Yeah. No, but well, who? That's a Spaniard that he's not going to be thinking about England in the World Cup. <laughs> Trust me, he's going to be thinking as he getting a wage packet. He's going to be thinking about the last four more games. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen that, dude. What? <laughs> 
He just nearly glassed himself in the face. <laughs> <laughs> and then he looked at her like that. <laughs> to see if anyone's seeing it. And he's on camera. <laughs> and his laugh was delayed as your laugh was delayed as well, so I thought I got away with it. Yeah, we actually didn't Welcome drink. Back. We, we haven't drank since the last podcast episode. Yeah, I'm, oh, yeah. No, I haven't drank since the fucking Euros. We drank two days ago. Yeah, no. That's you had COVID. Yeah. <laughs> After the Euros. I was in an Italian bar. Oh, yeah. That's how good I had it. I was watching it in Spain in an Italian bar. <laughs> Wasn't fun. I feel like if it was Spain in the finals, though, you would have been in Italy watching it in a Spanish yeah, bar. something like that, yeah. Yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah, but... I would have taken, anyway, back to us I, I would have taken Spain. <laughs> 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 we need a sound bite of that. Um, <laughs> I've, got, I've got even more confidence than I had last year. In of we- West Ham? That did be up there, yeah. Well, yeah, because now you've got less confidence in Arsenal. You've got more to give out. Well, not going to be a challenge, are they? No. Take them out of the equation. You know, I put, think, uh, put money on Aubameyang winning the Golden Boot in the Championship next season. <laughs> Sorry, I Why do we was... keep the veer away from West Ham? No, no, we're not. I think um, <clears throat> what I did want to say is we've got, what, like 10, 15 minutes of the episode left or something. Um, let's, let's start thinking about our, we're going to give a top six prediction again. Right. And then we'll forget about it at the end of the season and not come back to it. But I'll we'll still it give it notes, in here. Though. this time, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We'll take notes. I think we did it last time, but I don't we know. We did, yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, I think we did though, haven't we? Oh, but that? you got to put them in their order. So yeah, I know you, you know who the top four are going to be. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like you got to put it in the order. So we'll do, do that. A, do a top five since the Euro. I'm going the Europa League. Well, I've got mine anyway. I like the six though. Um, yeah, I but like yeah. Was, well, before yeah. we get, was there anything? Was there anything else about West Ham you wanted to? You wanted to yeah. get to? I just wanted to look at my. Uh... I'd love them to get some some decent draw in Europe and go and see them away. Yeah. Go and mix with the with the West Ham fans and you go and see them in back a, in Europe. A huge thing to look forward to uh, as a West Ham fan is to beat the champions of Europe, because that's what normally happens with West Ham against Chelsea. Yeah. So there you go. Well, their next three games, West Ham's next three games, they've got Leicester and Palace at home and then Southampton away. They could win all three of those games. I mean, it could top of the league by then, mate. Yeah. Remember, <laughs> remember last season, the, the the difficult start they had last season and we were talking about yeah. it, like how they're going to get through this. Like, yeah. You know, so. Okay, do it, yeah. That gave them the base, though, didn't it? Yeah. You now, looking before they, they went into them games, looking at it, they probably thought the worst and then. Maybe got a belief after it. Yeah, you know what's you know you know what's funny. I mean, I thought Sufal and uh, and Suchek both looked good again on uh, on Sunday. It's funny because I drafted Suchek and we were doing like a fantasy I did league. Sufal as well. And I got Suchek and he's like he's not gonna have another season where he's scoring again. And he goes and scores after the penalty after Antonio. You know that's what I wanted to say. How quick was he to get to get yeah, to the right. ball? <laughs> Matt Ritchie gave up. He was the one like Mark. No, what he did was there was two of them with Richie. I but, think Sufal and Suchek. Suchek stepped away oh. and then turned and timed his run. Okay. You know, I think he stepped away two yards and then I turned as behind, Antonio. Yeah. But I also saw Matt, Matt Richie sprinting and he stopped. Unless he just yeah. didn't see Suchek. Well, he realized he wasn't getting there anyway. Yeah. Because he'd, he'd got the run on him, I think. Yeah. Suchek. I'm glad Antonio got the goal though after missing that penalty. Yeah, me too. It yeah. was it was a weird penalty. He was like looking away, and it was like he tried to like trick the. It was like he tried to like take it quickly. Yeah, yeah. As if the keeper wasn't going to be ready, but it wasn't in the corner either, was no, it? it no, wasn't, it wasn't the best. Absolute terrible penalty. But he but is. still, I mean, even then, mate, I think they need a centre forward as well. You know, you can't just you can't just go the full season with him alone. No, definitely not. He's, yeah. he doesn't no, have so, it. I think I think to sustain it. They're going to need, although they didn't look like, but he's never going to be fit for the full season, is he? No. He's one of them quirky yeah, type players. I think that ben, ben can play up there. Don't though. be saying this. Oh, I... play up there, yeah, but as well. Fornals looked all right, to be fair. Yeah, I thought Fornals looked okay. And I'm, Fornals, I'm not I mean, biggest... they, they looked all right as a unit, you know what I mean? Because, you know, I'm still, the jury's still out with me with Suchek, but anyone who can get you the goal is, is gold dust. Yeah, as as a complete footballer, like I've always said, 
I think he hinders with him going forward every single time. I think it hinders Declan Rice. Yeah. To bring out the best in him going forward. Yeah, yeah. And and you know, I don't know whether it'll it'll happen, whether they'll get another holding midfield player. You know, I don't know. I wouldn't and be... give them an option. Yeah, I just I wouldn't be surprised if uh, if West Ham didn't sign anyone. You know. Yeah, well, they've got. Look, there was a couple of new signings from last season that have yeah. gelled. You know, yeah, come in, settled, and and look like they're good, they're at home there. You, you know what? I mean, where, I'm surprised. Where's at? He's still a, he's still yeah, around. Right. Was I'm, he on the bench? Did was he on the bench on Sunday, Lanzini? I'm not sure, mate. I can't remember. If I saw him or not. But you know what? I'm surprised about. Uh, I'm just checking about uh, Lanzini right now, and. Um, I want to see more of Yarmolenko. He was on the bench, Lanzini. Um, I'm surprised that... Who's that uh, Danish kid? The one who looks like he's two years old, but also balding at the same time? Who who scored... Uh, oh, my God. Damsgaard. Damsgaard. I'm surprised yeah, he didn't get a move after the Euros. Yeah. You know, usually there's like... He, he's at, he was at like... A couple of the, the Danish Southern players, mate. Somewhere. Yeah. Him, yeah. I think uh, a, a Forsberg from Sweden, and then... Uh, there was a couple of Danish players that got a move, though. Was there? Yeah. Uh, that was, that was them, good for them. They they played some good football. One of them just yeah. got si- signed to Brentford, yeah, didn't they? Things, you know, that was horrible. That was a noise card. So, so frightening. With Ericsson? Yeah, watching that yeah. happen in, oh, in yeah. real time, you know? Yeah. Just so glad he's fine, you know? Well, yeah. he plays again. I know he's, much he's had meetings with Inter over the past week, yeah. and I don't think they've come out publicly with anything. Yeah, no. Which, Never a good sign. Um, but well, your health and your family and everything is more important. Yeah. But I mean, I, I, honestly, I didn't think he was coming out of it. Yeah. The way things looked, and you never want to see anything like that, do you? I I hate to say this but, though. What they did after that. Yeah. As a, as a unit, right. you know. Yeah. What they did was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I will give a, a mention to the Brentford fans as well, mate. Oh what yeah. Saka when Saka came on. Yeah, yeah, the clapping. That was, that was a nice touch yeah, as well. It was, you know? yeah. Spur- Tottenham did it as yeah, well, the friendly. Yeah, Spurs did as well. Last week. Brent- Brentford fans alone are something I didn't know about, you know? Yeah. They just have this huge Is that That's support. Chelsea's closest rival right now in the Premier League, right? West, West Line. Is Ch- Brentford the close- Chelsea's closest rival? Yeah. West London, yeah. Yeah. Um... That'll be your derby game while Fulham are having a break. Jesus Christ. They're, they're going to beat us just because... Oh, my God. Yeah. But it was nice when, when Saka came on. And that's why I kind of... <laughs> what? When Saka what? came on. What do you mean? What are you saying before when Saka came on and the... Brent fans. The oh, okay. Sorry. I, sorry. You got the one up in the Euros. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you... Sorry. I thought you were bringing up that whole fucking World Cup. <laughs> no, I'm not going back there yeah, again. <laughs> yeah, when Saka came on. Yeah, we've got yeah, half an we've, we've got half an hour to fill. I'm gonna send Connor on this Saka run again. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, no. yeah. Saka's quality play. He was, he was one of our best in the Euros, and yeah, I just think I don't know. Yeah, I, yeah, it was it, that that was that was like I mean, it's it's not it's not his fault. It's not Sancho's, Rashford's, or Saka's fault that England suck at penalties. No, it's not their fault that they were born in this country that sucks <laughs> at penalties. You know, it was. Yeah. It, it it's it's been written before. It's it's always been written. We're not going to win on penalties. You know, like, yeah. It's <clears throat> that's that. We lost that game before the penalties, mate. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, we did. We, I mean, if I could get a petition together, fucking Southgate is ruining. <laughs> Our chances of glory because I I even said it during the World Cup. I thought we could have, and then many people disagree with me. I thought we could have beat France. I don't think we could have beat Belgium. If Belgium beat France in the semifinals, we 100% should have beat Croatia. We scored too early and Southgate fucked us up. What did we do this time? We scored too early and Southgate fucked us up. That's exactly what happened. Any other. Any other person that just wanted to was attack minded would have won both of those games, the semi final in the World Cup and the fucking final in the Euros. It was paid for us. 
Sorry, I don't mean to go on a Southgate rant. Uh, yeah, I just. But think- sorry, but it's just. Sorry, go on. <laughs> I'm done. But the World Cup next year is what we need to be thinking about. So yeah, I know, don't, but don't play any players. Ninety-nine percent of the country is gonna say progression. Yeah. Semi-finals of a World Cup, finals of a Euro. And, and that's South, that was Southgate's case. That was the first thing he said. I was about to say that he's yeah. like, I think I deserve the to stay until the World Cup because I took us to a semis and I took us well, to he, a final. And it's like, no, you fucking didn't. You, he doesn't. You, you ruined a, a semis they, for us and you ruined a finals for us. That, we could have got there with said, even before the tournament started. Yeah. That. The happy but I'm going stay. Oh, They'll be friggin' knighting him next. Like he's know, just he's he's cemented in because he's he's the and FA he puppet. At, and he was at the fucking Brentford Arsenal Arsenal game, sitting there just yeah. not knowing what the fuck is going on. You know. But he's, he, don't forget, he's got to cap some Brentford players now. Oh <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. <clears throat> um, Does he haven't had one yet? Yeah. Yeah. Let's uh. Let's Don't worry, they'll they'll be getting a hundred million to uh, move to City soon. So, the second he says their name, let's um move on to the to the predictions then, and then we'll wrap this up. All so right, top I've got my... top six. Oh, let's let's do okay. Island, yeah. Top six and then relegated. All right, top six is going to be City, Chelsea. Hold on, hold on. Wait, let let Connor yeah, hold on. write them down because we're not recording this or anything. City, Chelsea, Man U, respect. Liverpool. <laughs> City, Chelsea, Man U, Liverpool, West Ham, Leicester. Very biased. That's fine. <laughs> oh, it's not biased. It's all right. We should do it again in another couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just redo we, it. We should do it again after next game. <laughs> We're gone. Yeah, I'm saying City. I'm giving you a three goals, a three point lead. That's true. Alright, I'm gonna do mine's gonna uh, be pretty okay. similar. Or do you wanna go? No 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 I thought he was gonna do his bottom three. Oh your relegation, do your relegation. Watford, Norwich, Southampton. In that order. Yeah, Watford. No, I, I don't Norwich. think rele- relegation doesn't matter, does it? Unless you want it no, to. No, it doesn't matter, but I think Watford will finish bottom, Norwich next. And then Southampton. Southampton, ooh. All right, my top six are going to be... Um, by the way, it, your top six, write into us on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook what your top six is so we can spark conversation and argue about that if, if you disagree with us because that's usually what we do. All right, remind me as well afterwards after you've done that. I've got a question for okay. you. For you and for anyone else. All right, we'll, we'll remind you. Um, um, I'm going to do... Are you ready? Yeah, hold on. Let me just type City real quick. Okay, go on. Yeah, City top. I'm going to do Liverpool, Chelsea, Man United. Respectful. (laughs) And then I'm going to do West Ham, Everton. I think Rafael pulls something out. Good, I hope so. And then uh, my my bottom three are going to be uh, Watford, Brighton, and Brentford. I think Brentford are going to have a first season, like, do okay. I, yeah, but again, when, don't get carried away. I was against Arsenal, you know. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not, I'm not. No, I think they'll upset a couple of teams. Yeah. No, I think. I mean, I think they'll do well. I think they looked. I th- did think they looked good, but I just think it's, you know, it's like Norwich when they came up the season before last, and they looked really good the first few games, and Pookie was scoring, and then, you know, yeah. they sort of deflated, and and it. I don't know. I mean, again, I just you know. I, I don't know. I thought I thought Bournemouth were going to beat them last season in the playoffs, and yeah. you know, yeah, I watched it, yeah. But come on, Con. All right, I'm just uh, making, just knocking everything out of my top six. Who? Oh. Pardon? Chelsea then who? Chelsea then City. Oh. Chelsea then City. So uh, hold on, figuring out my last three and. Trying not to put Arsenal. In. I really, you know, just while he's thinking, I I think um, Liverpool are being written off a lot, 
And it's I, I really do think Van Dyke's gonna make that big of a difference. He one hundred percent will. You know? Like a yeah. lot a lot of people I was, I've said they'll finish fourth. Yeah. I think that's I yeah, I think that's a stretch. You know? I mean Klopp annoys the shit out of me and right. like so do the rest of them really, but Alright, <laughs> I got mine. Um I have uh Chelsea City Liverpool Leicester in the top four. And then United Spurs as five and six. Alright. And then I got Newcastle. You think that's biased? <laughs> yeah. I put, I, I put Spurs in there. I, del- I deleted down. Everton and, and put Spurs in there. That can't be biased. Did you have Everton before? Yeah, instead of Spurs. But because I said Everton? Look, no, 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 no. no. I had Everton. Harry Kane's going to go on and go, I shouldn't have said that. Yeah. No, I, I mean, look at it. And then he's <laughs> gonna say just did to you. Win. Um, and then bottom three: Newcastle, Norwich, Burnley. But you think Burnley? Burnley? Newcastle, Norwich, Burnley. Mm-hmm. Burnley. Burnley, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I think I think there's gonna be. Um, Sean Dyche will be eating worms in the championship. Yeah, and he won't be making those bad jokes about Messi anymore going, going to his club yeah in fact he, he may even more all right um, well we have we have a question from this listener right here <laughs> me is it what you wanted to end on or do you want to do you want to touch on the messy no no I can no I can end on it it's it's okay. fine it's I, fine it's just it's just a something that I've thought of when I was watching the game the other day okay name the only Premier League player he was his number on the back of his shirt and the front. It's the number three for Chelsea. Alonso. That was good. <laughs> yeah. It was. I didn't even know I who it, it was. But... <laughs> You'd have to know that that was their sponsor, yeah? Yeah, and it has been all last oh, season as well. <laughs> yeah. It's not a new sponsor. <laughs> yeah, but he didn't play, did he? I, I even, to the point where I even thought about just, because I wanted a Chelsea shirt and he wasn't even playing, so I was just going to get Alonso just because... The it, it only looked good with his number and on because the three is yeah, so it looked ugly. Like an international thing. Yeah, yeah. The three is so. Is yeah. that is that <laughs> what you came up with? Is that what I'm trying to understand right now? Yeah. yeah. Jesus Christ. All right. Well. Yeah, Eleven, 11 <laughs> months late. Everyone, everyone listening, if you know <laughs> the answer, type questions. type it on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> type it on social media. What do you think the answer is? We'll give you a hint. His initials are M A. <laughs> What's black and white and red all over? Mm. A club penguin. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, it was good talking to you. Yeah, nice to be back. We are back. VAR lines are thicker. We didn't, we didn't even... Those are the only two no times that you've brought those initials up. Well, that's all That's all we're here for is those thick VAR lines. Thick and everyone VAR. knows it. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Let me just... I wanted to add this earlier. Maybe, maybe it was all the process we had. Yeah, so, I know. Maybe, you're talking about um, how do you? F- Sorry, I just want to. I wanted to ask this earlier, and if I feel like if it's, it's, it's as bad important. as his question, then we're not. Yeah, let's move on. <laughs> yeah, I was. No. I couldn't. I couldn't wait to see you and, and ask you. <laughs> Are you joking me? <laughs> sure. Just shut me down. You just. I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> Bad enough. It, I mean, you used to coaching those kids. You can ask them that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, no, no. Hold on. What do you, What do you think about uh, Diaz putting his arms behind his back? And um, well, I think that's what caused it, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. A little bit off balance because he put his hands behind his back. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I, I know you're. Uh, he, and that's what confused Edison. Yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah, I don't blame Edison at all. I, I know you you're. Know. Ever since it started with like Ivanovic and David Luiz, like the main two. Yeah. You, you it's, hated it, but it's because of the rules. They are they have to like. But it how else it, do you it do? leaves you off balance though. Before the rules, what? I think that that is something that foreign players did before the rules. We're all messed up. But if it hits his hand, it's is well, yeah. I mean, handball's di- handball's been different in La Liga f- over for the your, last for your balance. years. You know, no, I know it's not natural at all. And I mean, well, they changed that rule as well, haven't they? They've 
they've tightened up that rule. Yeah. God knows how many rules they've tightened up until we see something happen. Yeah, and the players won't know until it, it happens, you know. So. I, I didn't understand why they didn't show a VAR for Fernandez's third third goal. I that think baffled me. Yeah. I don't understand it because he looked offside. It's and like more than the thicker lines would have shown. It's like they have to. It's like they don't. They're either too heavy or too light. They can't like get the in between. You know, they're scared to like press measures that are between. I them. mean, don't get me wrong. Great finish. It would have been a shame. You know. Yeah. But I mean, I mean the game is dead. It's, it seems like they've taken like a, a leap to address the issues. Yeah, yeah, and they're not put, they're not they're not letting it go on for another two minutes before they put the, the flag, flag up. Yeah, yeah. Which is going to be better if they do continue to book divers. That will be better. Yeah. You know. And allow for a little bit of physicality. Yeah, I mean, I, I still think they could widen those VRR lines by like seven inches. You know. Yeah, yeah. But mm. next season. Or a plank of wood. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Good talking to Bye. you. We'll be back again next week. We did have a few people on Facebook asking where we were. We are here. We are back. We are drinking. We're with Harry Kane. <laughs> we're on holiday in the Bahamas. <laughs> And we'll talk to you next week, guys. Cheers, guys. Take care. Cheers. Bye.